Ken Betwa Link Project, a part of the National Perspective Plan for River Interlinking, was signed on 22nd March 2021. The Jal Shakti Ministry plans to connect 37 major rivers of India in this way. So, what is river interlinking? A wonder solution or a disaster in the making? River interlinking involves connecting rivers using dams and canals. The water is transferred from one river to another, moving surplus water to deficit area, thus providing water for drinking, irrigation and electricity generation. Looks like a brilliantly engineered solution, but it can lead to multiple ecological and socio-economic problems. Mr. Manoj Mishra, the convener of the Yamuna GA Abhiyan, explained the impact of river interlinking during the session on water issues in the Prakash Gore Memorial Discussion Series. There are two basic uh, assumptions uh, or hypotheses based on which interlinking has been put up as a, as a solution. One is that, oh, all this water, all this monsoon water going waste into the sea. You see, even a child who has studied science will tell you that a river water must go to the sea. That is its dharma. Nadi ka dharma hai pani ko ikatta karke samudra pahunchana. That is how the water cycle goes get completed. And if that doesn't, and if if we actually interfere with this, this will aggravate. So. This cannot be a reason that river water going waste into the sea. That's all nonsense. The amount of river water reaching the ocean decides how much monsoon we get. When fresh water flowing towards the sea is stopped midway, sea water enters the coastal aquifers, making the groundwater salty. Water in the river is not only for human use, but also for other flora and fauna. The other thing that they talk about is there are deficit basins, there are surplus basins. So if there is more water in the surplus basin, what is the harm in taking that water from surplus basin away into a deficit? Now this is a classical human structured concept. What exactly is a river basin? Pretty much like a wash basin but larger. A river basin is a portion of land where all the surface runoff flows into one main river. Each river basin has its own ecosystem based on water availability. There is nothing called deficit or surplus basin. A basin is a basin, that's it. A basin is that river. So this all talk of treating surplus with visev is what? Deficit visev is what? Nothing. Basin is a compact, independent uh, uh, system, and that is how it is. It is. It, it, it depends on the size of the and and the and, and the and the geometry and the geography of that basin. So, so we don't agree with either of these two bases base, bases for justifying interlinking of rivers. What they call as interlinking of rivers, there is no interlinking actually happening. Interlinking has already been done by God. Rivers which were to be linked, they have already been linked and formed the basis. This so-called interlinking is nothing but create a dam here, create a canal here, and and divert the water from this this area to this area. So it is please, this, there is no interlinking of river taking place. It is just construction of more dams and construction of more canals. And the, all the problems that beset us as a result of construction of dams and as a result of construction of canals will emerge as a result of that. Also, it will it will it will play havoc with our geography uh, and and our water security. Engineering concept cannot have a solution for ecological issues or ecological problems. Period. The life around a river develops based on the river's natural flow over millions of years. Changing the flow abruptly has social and economic costs to the most vulnerable communities that get displaced or lose their livelihood. It also entails degradation of the ecosystem. 
While the water crisis is aggravating across regions, India is experiencing substantial wrath due to this crisis. The solutions lie in utilizing locally available water as Rajasthan has done traditionally rather than trying to change the ecosystem of river basins which have evolved over several millennia. Any such change causes social, economic, ecological disruption with serious downside. 